weather is changing and it's time to head south, 2,800 kilometers to our favorite beach. For the first two days, we're joined by our buddy Mike. I'm kind of jaded, but that doesn't actually ever get old. With the easy part done, it's time to get snacks and start driving. We take a break at this rest stop and decide on a dinner destination. We made it to Yushi Sushi in uh, Vancouver, Washington. Mmm, I'm excited. Welcome to tonight's episode of Food, and it's Conveyor Belt Sushi. Thank you. There we go. Washington State Sushi. Uh, my first impressions was super fast, super convenient, excellent service, really weird rice. Weird yeah. rice. Weird rice. So three and a half. Three and a half out of five. I give it a four. You give it a four? Yeah, okay. Harry, that's pretty cool. Oh, haircut? No haircut. Do you want a haircut? Well, another quick pit stop. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get, get, this get my with. mop trim back. And hopefully he'll get it actually short enough on the sides that he won't need another one in two weeks. Okay, well you have some control over that. We'll see what happens. And one, two, three. All sorted out. Yay! Actually, we're in a completely different place now. We spend the night at the Viento State Park uh, along the Columbia River, just in North Oregon. So uh, It's really close to our next destination, which is uh, going to be a surprise, and we're kind of stoked to go check it out. I've been wanting to go there for quite a while. But uh, really cool place. Only downside is uh, the noise is outrageous, because we're right between a highway and... The train tracks. All night long. I kind of liked it. I, it didn't bother me. It, you know, maybe I was that tired. Pretty, pretty uh, calm too, camping season, so. And apparently there's some really cool riding right near here, which we're gonna look into for a future trip. Well, that was a nice uh, quick little walk down to the river where it was quite chilly and windy. And this is one of those places where kite surfers come. So in the summer when we've been around this area, we've seen lots of them. And they just kind of zigzag across the river. All right, back to the bus. We came through on motorcycles three years ago on our way to Panama, and oh, you gave wow. us a gold star and we put it on our helmet. Oh, I fell off by now though, I right? I remember those gold stars. Yeah, because the bridge was like full of squares on our knobby tires. Well, when you get in that center, yeah, if you yeah. have a bike, it is, yeah. it's pretty squirrely. So. All right, well, we'll what are we doing now though? We're just gonna go visit a bike shop in White Salmon. Another adventure. And then we're gonna go back. We're going, going to Mexico. Again. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So we'll see you in like half, half an hour. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe more than I half an hour. Too. Okay, we'll pick you up. <laughs> We're at the home of Moscow Moto. Go inside. Uh, that's how we started doing the Dusty Lizards. Yeah. Because like those IMS shows. It really is the vibration is way less. It is. No, than it's, the KTM or it's the pretty muted. Um, also telling us all about Uncle and, Wayne. And uh, yeah. yeah, Uncle I knew I already knew about Uncle Wayne because I have given this bike a lot of thought. Like I think it's pretty cool. I've only ridden absolutely killer time here uh, chatting about riding, racing, breaking bones and uh, can't say enough. The hospitality's been amazing. Casey's been awesome. 
showing us around and uh, telling us about all sorts of adventures. The real deal. Be hooking up uh, with a lot of their really cool stuff soon. Do you want to just get me a chocolate croissant? You bet. Okay. Uh, we referred to the uh, White Town and Bake Company and uh, I'm going in to grab some stuff. <laughs> Give the YouTuber. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, the time has come to uh, vacate the What's Up Beaches household. Uh, we didn't have to vacate now, but we've decided we're gonna try and hit up Sunset at Crater Lake. Maybe I wasn't supposed to tell you where we're going, but you know. Uh, the sun has come out. It's lovely right now. It's just after three.
cold. So uh, hopefully tonight will be a little warmer, maybe a little quieter. We'll see where we end up. Look at this lake, it's crazy. Well, we are currently just north of Carson City, Nevada. Uh, we've checked into a state park early and we're gonna hang out here so that I can do a little bit of editing and then we get a little bit of downtime. We're running a little bit ahead of schedule. We gave ourselves a lot of time and uh, we're just gonna try and slow down a little bit. Uh, as you saw, Mike was with us earlier. He's already south of Las Vegas. I uh, saw Stephanie, he could easily be in San Felipe tomorrow. Uh, really looking forward to joining him there and getting back to our little spot on the beach. It's 11 a.m. and that means time to move the bus. Dinner. We're gonna make steak, potatoes, zucchini, and peppers. Hopefully, all on the barbecue. The perfect sunset. And the sunset is getting to be amazing. All right, before it all disappears, this is what we got for dinner. How was it? It's really, really good. All cooked on the Barbie. Well, as we said earlier, we're a little ahead of schedule. So we're gonna spend two nights in Joshua Tree National Park. And uh, this is uh, Cottonwood Oasis. So we're gonna check that out. Well, I'm not seeing any water. I don't know how far you have to go to find it. It goes up the stairs. To get it. This be good. We're almost.
almost at our destination uh, of the stage coach and we figured we'd stop and let little Brindy have some off leash time. So we're gonna go walk across the highway here, explore this area where these folks are over here. Well, we had to abandon that idea. Apparently dogs aren't welcome on any regional uh, trail or anything like that. Uh, we took her to Joshua Tree. She couldn't go anywhere there except for the paved roads. But we figured we'd let her roam around a little bit over here in the non-park side of the desert. Last year, and uh, we have some code base. Not me. Allie was saying she was rusty, but I think I'm way rustier than her than she is. I fell down three times. I fell down once. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Okay, it was just like numbskull stuff too. After a little more than a week on the road, we are at our winter home in Mexico. We have lots of content coming soon. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.